Hello Duelists, this is Tom Box here, welcome to MSD.TV, in this video, this is a video requested by you guys, and I'm pretty sick so I'm not doing my, um, more, I guess, spiral stuff, but anyways, this video, we're gonna care about two things here, how to get YGO Pro with links, this is YGO Pro 1, not YGO Pro 2, this is just the client closest to Percy, if you ask me, and then the second thing is how to play online, I guess those are the two things you guys care about most, and I guess the third thing is how to customize this so it looks like my YGO Pro. I'll show you guys as much as I can for that one as well if you get to the end. Just how to customize your YGO Pro. But the first step is get Discord. That's right. If you don't get Discord, you're going to have a tough time finding the link. It's like, oh my god, all these links go to these Discord sites. Well, Discord is a chat application that's like TeamSpeak but free. And you can host your own servers, which is pretty, pretty awesome. And most people are sharing their links through Discord. They're hosting their own servers and posting their link there. So as a respect to these people, I'm just gonna post their link out of their Discord. So once you get Discord, you get it from Windows, you can open the Discord web client. Personally, just get, get it from Windows. A lot of your friends are gonna be like, just get Discord so we can just chat and play games at the same time. Same idea. And by the way, I host my tournaments via Discord whenever I host a tournament and you join via Discord so I can actually go and moderate things through there. Anyways, once you get the chat app, you download it, and I already downloaded it right here. You guys can see right there. Anyways, that's there. I downloaded it. I got my client, and once you get your client, BAM! Looks like this! Well, no, it looks pretty empty, but whoosh! That sucks. Now that we have Discord, this is my uh, server. If you guys want to join, by all means, you can just click right here. Just right here at this link here, you can join my server. But that's not the server we came here for. We came here for this server. So this is the G2 Pro server. You go, you type this in, you hit enter, hit enter right now. It's like, oh hey guys, congratulations! You've been beamed to your info to your Discord app, and now you can close this browser tab, and uh, it's there. So in other words, my Discord client right now, I'm gonna close off the browser, has this. G2 YGO custom server and look this is if you're it's your first time here it won't look exactly like this but you'll have like the rules and what you can do this is welcome to the G2 custom server these are the rules of the server and what you're looking for is the download links the download links are right there let's I guess we can kind of zoom in you guys can zoom in here just go click here this is the client and these are the images. Most people now separate the two because the image library does eat up like 1.5 gigs. So once you download both of these, so this is g2pro.zip and there's images.zip, what happens when you get it all downloaded? I have my G2 Pro client right here and what you're gonna get here is something like this G2 Pro right here. You open it up, you realize it's just a Percy client. So from the Percy client that we have here, I guess once you extract it, it will look something like this. So what does it actually look like right now? Let's actually just load it up. Is it safe? Well, always ask for opening. And you get something like this. Oh my god, it's the link client. And you try to go to deck edit. Of course, there's no cards available. I really don't like their little weird wrapping texture on it. But yeah, who am, what am I kidding? They're giving us a link client to play. And you might have noticed, hey, there's only land mode, puzzle mode, watch replay, deck edit and exit and uh, we'll get to that in a bit but firstly let's just get all the images in so the pics folder here is empty therefore you have none of the pictures available and so you're gonna have to go into the images to link to download it all luckily I already have mine downloaded and uh, I'm just going to dump mine from my old YGO Pro links folder into that one I'm just gonna copy this over actually. And I'll just dump it here. And just merge everything in there. So it's 3.58 gigs, and we're just gonna let it run. It might take your computer a little longer if you're not using a solid state drive. But yeah, this is a lot of items. And then we're just gonna rerun the client. So there's also like the agreement here. We're just gonna put this aside while it loads. There's an agreement here saying that if you wanna chat here. You're going to have to update your client by paying attention to whatever they post on their uh, Discord server. If they've got new cards are available. Unlike old Percy where they do the automatic update, which I am very, very grateful for. The, we currently don't have that available like right now. 
So until then, you're gonna have to check up every now and then for new stuff happening. All right, so all the pics are uploaded. Let's check up if we have all our images now. So we opened it up and let's check deck edit. Oh look, all the card images are there. Great, this is perfect. So I guess if that's as far as you need to go, you just wanna play online, let's move on to the next step. So playing online. There is a LAN mode here. Is it really LAN? It is not. Because Gideon has hosted their service. Whether you're using this version of YGO Pro or another version of YGO Pro, you can connect onto there. So I'm going to create myself a stupid little nickname. Let's just call it Tombox Thing. Tombox is Thing. And this is the IP address that you want to uh, pay attention to. Now, even on the server itself, they've already mentioned, like, how do you play online versus other people? Well, this is the server. See, the 50.53.229.66 with the port of 7911 is for TCG. So, in other words, if I change the port here to 7911, if I hit join, I'll connect with random people. And sure, I'm not gonna play that deck. I'm gonna play Spiral Links. I already pre made this deck. I'm just gonna play this deck. Now, one cool thing about this client is you can resize it, of course, and it's got pretty good resizing and the best part about this server is if someone's not starting their game they'll just get booted and just pay attention that you do have a lot of extra time uh, you get about six minutes worth of time to make a turn and it seems like I'm the guy now in charge of the room and I'll just play one quick game maybe I'll just even cut this game and I'll just scoop so there's a guy called your name just, just check it off buddy you're, you're eating up video time. I can't start until you check it off. And you gotta boot him. Took too long. Cash. Cash is fast. Fast cash. Alright, let's do this. And you get the, your typical playing here. You got your rock, paper, scissor game. And let's see if I'm gonna go first. Oh, look. The play. It is pretty good. So he and I have different sleeves. I'm gonna start with the terraforming. Okay, that sounds not bad. Activate this. So everything here basically works. You can do your whole spiral combo. Uh, I'm just going to showcase that the links do work here and then I'm going to head out. And uh, I'll go on to other things. So normal this. Just get the, get the view of the top card. Oh, he's playing BA. It's all monsters. Oh look, what do you know? I got the right card. Okay, so there's that. And then... Oh look, I got there. Got there, boys. Okay, so now for customization. I'm just going to go over it very quickly. I'm not going to teach you well, every little step I do, but more importantly, how to actually kind of replace the textures. And that's what I'm going to focus on. If you want to watch this, well, by all means, stay, stick around. But if you're done, you've already got to play your YGO Pro, then by all means, just leave me a like and you know, leave a comment down below if you want to know more. And uh, well, let's get to the customization part. Now, as you've seen here before, that my YGO Pro links looks a bit different from this one. It's because I did use a different client before. I'm showing you guys this one instead because I think it's actually got better potential. So let's look, open up the G2 Pro's uh, folder. And like all by Geo Pro, there is a textures folder, and inside this textures folder, you'll see a bunch of artwork in here, and you'll see, you know, how they kind of correlate. So there's the background, and then there's the menu background, which is, I believe, what this one is. There's also background copy, copy too. That those are just extra; they they can be deleted, honestly. They, they don't need to stick around. Now. There's a different background for when you use a deck editing. There's also a different background when you're actually dueling someone. So I'm going to switch all of that stuff right now. So I don't like the card back that they're using. They're using this for a card back and um, not my not my kind of thing. I, I made my own. So I'm going to go into my other folder, which I have already prepared. And this is my YGO Pro Lynx. This is my other game. And here I have all my textures. So I'm just going to replace the texture. So background deck. It's probably just the deck background. I'm probably not going to change it. I kind of like theirs. So I'm going to change it up so I have my two backgrounds here. 
I'm gonna copy it over and copy and replace it. Let's just replace them both since uh, I don't really care for the other one. And uh, I keep the rock paper scissors. I'm gonna change my card covers. Copy and replace. So I've replaced two things, and I kind of like my own vector sword a bit more. So I'm just gonna replace that too. And my activation circle, I like it blue. Yada yada yada. You just go in here, you just replace what you don't need or what you do need, and then okay. I've replaced quite a few things already, and they even have their life point bar. Uh, well, let's go check it out. Let's run this thing. Oh look, it looks completely different. Well, it's pretty much the same, just a couple of textures change. The back of the deck menu, did, I, I didn't change it. Let's go into the duels. And look, I've got my texture, my cards, my everything here. And yeah, that's basically how you change the texture, how you customize it. And if there's anything else you want to kind of test out, uh, most of it's done in post. If anyone tells you otherwise, it's not true. It's just done in uh, post editing. But there you have it. If you want your life bar to be at full color, uh, what you can do is when you see the life, boy, life bar texture in their game, this is the one that they use. So I'm gonna zoom in for a bit. This is the one that they use. They've got it black, so in other words, this one depletes the black, which is actually kind of cool too. If you want it to deplete to red, this is how I got mine. Mine depletes to red using this one. So that is, now you kind of get the idea of how the graphics work. And the life point color bar, this is my color. Basically, all it does is, is that they stretch it, and, and depending on how much life you have, divided by how much total life you're supposed to have, that's basically how it's scaling this thing to the maximum width. And that's about it. That's all I got to teach you for customizing your own layouts. BG is basically your in-game background. BG menu is your first opening menu. BG deck is your <coughs> sorry. BG deck is your deck editing. You guys kind of get the idea. I'm sure you guys will figure it out better than I do. So in other words, have fun editing your YGO Pro guys. And until then, see you guys next time. Don't forget to join my Discord server. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please drop us a like so we know we are doing a good job. And you can also subscribe to MSD.TV for more fantastic videos by clicking on the button on the left. Don't forget to check out our partners at Imperium Duelist. They make really high quality mats, including some of my own limited edition release stuff. And if you want to check out one of our past videos, click here on the right. As always, don't forget to hold on to your MST.TV and I'll see you next time.